Okay, Bill, we still have the vanishing of the Christians, the emergence of a greater, safer, and wealthier Israel, the decline of America, or whatever happens to America. In Ezekiel chapter 38, these are all fully loaded in and of themselves, amongst other things we're going to get to. And by the way, before we continue, I just want to re- listen, I just want to remind everyone that uh, Bill and I both, again, just a reminder, believe in the pre-tribulation rapture, but we understand that some of the things we're talking about can can uh, challenge the conventional way of thinking through this process. But that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We're thinking through it. We're working through what the Bible has to say and putting all these things in an order to help us understand. Because quite frankly, we look at the world as it is right now, and one thing that Christians really need to do is understand prophecies regarding the second coming of Christ and be strengthened. And understanding the prophecies are going to strengthen them as things continue to go from, well, I would say from bad to worse, because I don't think they're going to go from bad to being totally awesome. (laughs) No, not until we get to the millennial kingdom and things get a lot better and restored at that point in time. But that's after the tribulation. Yeah, and that's after the tribulation period. So with that, let's take take it from where you want to. Vanishing of Christians emergence of a greater, safer, and wealthier Israel, decline of America, or Ezekiel 38. What do you want to tackle? Well, let's start with the vanishing of the Christians, because like you said, we are pre-trib rapture believers. There's a whole bunch of reasons that make sense. I'm going to rifle off just four or five real quick. But remember, folks, as we talked about those prophecies in the earlier sections here, we believe these things are pre-tribulation like we believe the rapture is pre-tribulation. So if the rapture happens before any of those other prophecies we just went through, they become pre-tribulation still, but they also then go into this post-rapture, pre-tribulation gap. There's that gap we talked about at the beginning of the DVD, and we'll probably get into that a little bit more in this next session. But about the rapture, just real quickly, you know, the the wrath of God is going to come out in the seven-year tribulation period. So the church has to be removed from it because Romans 5, verses 8 through 9 says, we will be saved from the wrath through him, Jesus Christ. We're told in 1 Thessalonians 1, verse 10, Jesus is one who delivers us from the wrath that is to come. We're told in 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 7 through 10, for God did not appoint us to this wrath. We're told we'll be kept from the hour of trial in Revelation 3, verses 10 through 11, referring to the hour of trial that judges the planet during the tribulation. And therefore, 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 18, we are to comfort one another with these words, Tom. And I know you do that all the time at your church, but we can't really comfort someone and say, mm-hmm. you're going to be going through the worst seven years, battered yeah. and bruised, and I want you to be comforted. That, that, that You just can't do that unless it's a pre yeah. rapture. Yeah, I totally agree. In fact, I told our, our church that often. If he says, comfort one another with these words, what kind of comfort is there if he's saying, comfort one another with these words? You're about ready to go through the worst this world has ever faced. It's going to be worse than anything else. Be comforted. It doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. And, and the bride does not have to earn a merit badge. Christ paid the full price on the cross. And he's longing to come get his bride. He's yearning to come get us. He's waiting for the Father to say, go get your bride. And not a twinkling of an eye will stand between him and grabbing us and taking us up to be with him. Amen. I love that. So if we look at this, the the rapture is going to take place. The Bible does teach a rapture no matter how many people email me or probably email you and say the Bible doesn't teach it. Yes, the Bible does. Uh, You can see that 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. 